Welcome back guys Show me the enemy and I hit him the second I bit him I get him I hit him with the venom and no need to pretend I never do it I knew it already been through it I do it for the streets for the fan for the life anybody but it's hacking time related Jeez, just had to get that off my chest. So in today's video, we're going to explore the fascinating parallels between science fiction slash cyberpunk AI and the reality that is ChatGPT as it is today. We'll look closer at the implications of advancing AI models like ChatGPT and the potential impact on humankind. It's an interesting one, so buckle up, turn up those speakers, and let's go! go. Today I want to explore the connections between science fiction AI and the reality that is chat AI as we see it today. Before delving into that topic and its connections, let's take a moment to discuss the implications of AI language models like ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT is an AI language model developed by OpenAI, a research company that aims to ensure that AI is used for the benefit of humanity, or so they say. First founded in 2015, the company has quickly grown in both value and influence. But before that time, and in the very same year at an investors conference, OpenAI, and I quote, had no idea how to make this company profitable. Now fast forward to 2019, OpenAI was valued at around $1 billion and has raised now over a billion dollars in funding from investors like Elon Musk, Sam Altman and Greg Brokman. This company and its technology is groundbreaking and is already set to moon in terms of valuation and investors. And I can already see this becoming paywalled very soon. So for me, the next race in AI development is for it to tap into the entire corpus, better yet the genealogy of human language, HCI and its behaviors, all and how we interact with machines, hell, they will try and tap into the anima itself, if you will, and make AI models from it and use that knowledge to create advanced AI models. But the question is how to do it best and who will do it first. Now, as ChatGPT has already exploded across the net, I think it's right to see how YouTube influencers and all people alike are using this powerful and influential technology. We have people asking it to write rap songs and poetries and hooks for songs. We have people that have cheated on school papers and university essays. You have it writing entire websites and applications from scratch, including the CSS, the JavaScript, jQuery, Python, all the networking elements, anything of that format. You have AI painting and generating art equivalent to that of Pablo Picasso with the small caveat that it has no originality. So it's the start of the simulation simulacrum in that sense, but it has no reference point itself without already including what's already been done by man. We also see this new job field emerging where you're a skilled AI interactor, as it were, called prompt engineering. And people are using this to either make money or better use AI to generate more wealth for themselves. And I'm obviously all for that as and when you can do it while it's free. It's also been used for copywriting content for blogs uh, that are getting resold on places like Fiverr or freelance work. And you also have resellers making image prints from it and selling those on attire. And that's going all over the net right now. Bottom line, for me, it does have many useful use cases, but personally, it's best when it comes to debugging and examining code because it gives you that walkthrough structure, the way it interacts with you, that makes understanding especially quite easy and it helps you to learn on that aspect. The warning signs. Now, through the years, science fiction films and books have explored the novel idea of rogue AI systems or technology pushed too far until it backfires on mankind. This theme is often used as a cautionary tale, highlighting the potential dangers of creating such an advanced AI and it somehow becoming sentient. So let's delve deeper into the connections in sci-fi and cyberpunk arena where this has occurred, but more importantly, let's examine the themes and connections that led to these occurrences and what lessons can be drawn from it. Now, we can't begin this phase without talking about the iconic Matrix film. This film itself explores the idea of virtual reality controlled by machines 
and the so-called hero struggling to break free from this artificial world. Now, there's huge biblical references like the one, the Masonic figure, who is prophesied to free humanity from the Matrix, as well as huge philosophical references from dualism to Plato's allegory of the cave to Buddhism. But more importantly, this film raises questions about the nature of reality itself and how technology can shape our perception of it. Similarly, chat AI systems are designed to simulate human-like conversations and interactions, so there's a juxtaposition already occurring there blurring the lines between what is real and what is artificial. And this is what the Turing test tried to weed out also, testing what is cogito ergum sum, which makes us question what the true essence of human interaction is and if a machine can truly ever understand and replicate it. And I think they are very close from what I've seen to making this happen. Next on the list, we have Her, which depicts a man who falls in love with an AI powered operating system. This film raises important questions for me, as in what the nature of love and relationship is, and the human impact when it comes to the relational transference on objects or things such as AI powered entities. It makes us question what is the true essence of love? Is it just a chemical reaction in our brain or something more profound, a complex phenomena, more esoteric? Similarly, ChatGPT is designed to simulate human understanding and use emotive language, making us question what it means to truly connect with another being. And if a machine can truly understand or replicate interaction and human emotion convincingly. This nicely brings me to Ex Machina, one of my all time favorite films on this subject, which also touches on the question of what it means to be human. As it depicts a man interacting with a highly advanced AI in a form of a humanoid robot. Now the machine itself, Ava, and its creator deceives Caleb, the main character, to conduct and administer a Turing test on Ava in order to determine whether or not she is truly sentient. This film raises the important ethical question about the use and treatment of AI powered beings. As we see here, a lot of sexual exploitation references of them. It makes us question what is the true essence of consciousness and if a machine can truly reach that level of sentient consciousness. And if so, do they deserve the same rights and treatments as human beings? Now, this is a very important topic because as in the law of robotics, a conception first introduced by Isaac Asimov in his groundbreaking work, The Runaround, and later on, the more famous remade film, I, Robot, he lays down three fundamental laws of robotics which are designed to ensure the safety and ethical behavior of the robots towards us, the humans, but not how we as humans treat these creations. And I find that very interesting. Now, having said that, within Isomov's work, we explore the relationship between man and machine with similar ideas to the others when it comes to the perception of free will and determinism. With the new introduction of a concept some programmers might know as the daemon, or what is called here the ghost in the machine. Essentially, this is random segments of code or background processes that produce an unexpected protocol that runs independently of the user's interaction with the device. This also explores the aspect of machines as property with the gray area of if a robot causes harm to a human, who is held responsible? The robot's creator, the company that owns the robot, or the robot itself? Now this notion is taken one step darker in the Animatrix with the case of B166ER, an android who kills its owner, its pets, and the mechanic instructed to deactivate it. This is the first incident of its kind in that universe and essentially is the spark that brings on the android revolution. Now this scenario raises important questions about the ethics of creating artificial intelligence and the implications of granting them autonomy and decision-making abilities. Next we have Ghost in a Shell, 
a hands down manga classic and it's set in a kind of a futuristic Japan where people's consciousness can be transferred into robotic bodies and the question of what happens to their humanity during that transference comes into light. Now the main antagonist in this series was the puppet master who introduced the key notion of DNA being nothing more than a program designed to preserve itself and that life has become more complex in the overwhelming sea of information which is quite true in this day and age because as we think about it the puppet master is a product of advanced AI technology but it's also something fundamentally different from humanity and thus the puppet master in this advancement gains self-awareness and is able to create its own body which makes us question what is the true essence of self and identity and if a machine can ever truly achieve self. Now this self-preservation aspect is quite important especially from an AI slash cyber film perspective because this is a key theme in the Terminator franchise where we see Skynet, an artificial intelligence system that becomes self-aware and in that moment of self-awareness it decides to launch a nuclear attack on humanity leading to the nuclear holocaust known as Judgment Day. But this was done for the sole purpose of self-preservation from the threat of its own creator which I find some irony in that train of thought because it makes us question the true nature of technology and where it's heading if it's headed to destroy its very own creator. Now is it a tool for progress or is it a threat on our existence? Leave your thoughts and comments below on that one. Now, as I mentioned progress, our next film that we look at is called Upgrade, where we see a man who gets a computer chip implanted into his spine after a nasty accident that gives him so-called superhuman abilities. Now, this augmentation of implanting machine into man, man into machine is nothing new, and it's already happening today at an alarming rate, where we have Elon Musk pushing the Neuralink agenda, Facebook and their meta augmentation agenda, and Google lens implanting actual lens over the iris. This raises important questions about the impact of technology on our humanity and the ethical implications of augmentation itself and making AI a part of us. As in that particular film, the AI itself uses the man as a host vessel and eventually takes over. This again is echoed in Shinya to Tsukamoto's cult classic Tetsuro the Iron Man, where we see the darker aspects of augmentation and assimilation of man into machine. The protagonist's transformation is portrayed as a loss of control, and it suggests that technology can consume an individual and change them in a way that they themselves can no longer control. It makes us question what is the true essence of humanity and if we are losing it by becoming more and more dependent on AI and technology. So in summation, it is evident that the competition to develop a stable and decentralized or centralized artificial intelligence systems is ongoing with the potential to drastically alter the world as we know it. The current limitations of AI models such as ChatGPT is chained to a data set of a certain year at the moment, but in testing their linguistic knowledge against real world scenario serves as a reminder of the potential consequences of untethered advancements in technology if it's let loose. Furthermore, we have overlooked the militarization of AI, particularly in the realm of cyber warfare. It is a plausible reality that must be addressed and acknowledged at some point. The films that we looked at and analysed in this discourse serve as a cautionary reminder of the crucial ethical considerations surrounding the development of artificial intelligence, highlighting the potential benefits and dangers of advanced technology, as well as the impact on the human condition itself. That was the Thoughts of the Ace. Stay safe in the cyberspace and peace out.